Now, listen to this about hypertension. Two courses, the major one that we have already discussed and agreed in these platforms is the sugar, because sugar causes uh, destruction of the inner surface or, or the endothelial lining of your blood vessels. And that is the initial step of uh, starting the process of hardening of your blood vessels to cause you hypertension. So sugar is number one. Number two, which uh, I'm going to take much keen on today, is calcium. Now calcium is an element that is normally used by the body for contraction. For example, in the glands, it is the one that causes the contraction. When it gets into the cells, it causes contraction of these glands and therefore they eject uh, the contents of those glands, like hormones and neurotransmitters also. Number two, for example, the heart muscles, when you get the calcium flowing into the heart muscles, it encourages contraction and therefore normal heart functioning. Okay, so these happen literally everywhere in the system. So calcium plays a very important role in muscle contraction. But excess of this calcium becomes a problem to you. One, calcium can deposit on the smooth muscles on your blood vessel and cause something called calcification of this blood vessel. Calcification basically means hardening of these blood vessels. So that hardening is the one that will reduce or will actually increase, sorry, the peripheral resistance. Now remember, hypertension is a product of two things. One is the cardiac output, the amount of blood that is coming out of the heart per beat or per contraction. And number two is the peripheral resistance. Basically, how much force is this blood vessel wall exerting to the blood that is flowing through? Or how much force is needed so that blood can easily flow through this blood vessel. So this resistance that the heart or the blood that is coming from the heart is experiencing is what we call the peripheral resistance. And that is basically if this blood vessel wall is hard or hardened or if it's flexible and soft. If it is soft, the peripheral resistance is lower. Therefore, your blood pressure will be normal. If it's tough or if it's hardened, the flexibility is difficult. So it's inflexible. Therefore, the force under which blood has to flow through that blood vessel is increased. And that is now hypertension. So two things, sugar and calcium. Now, this is in relation, uh, in relation to the drugs that are used to manage uh, hypertension. And the first line drugs for hypertension are what we call the calcium channel blockers. So they block calcium channels. They simply block calcium from flowing into the cells because when calcium flows into the cell, this cell will start to contract and the muscle will contract. And remember, this is a smooth muscles lining the blood vessels. When they contract, they constrict the blood vessel and the blood pressure increases. So these drugs block the inflow of calcium inside the cell. Number one of the example on that group is nifedipine. We also have uh, amlodipine. We also have verapamil. These are drugs that are used for hypertension, okay? And this, do you, when you just follow that mode of action, you can easily know that calcium is actually the biggest problem again in blood pressure. So what do we do to reverse that high content of calcium in the cells that is actually causing you problems? You can use magnesium. And magnesium glycinate as a supplement is very good for people who have hypertension. Yes. But the most important part is magnesium in its organic form is easily assimilated by the cells. And what are the organic forms or sources of magnesium? Of course, we have the seafoods, we have the sea salt, we have the Himalayan pink salt, we have the avocados, we have the pumpkin seeds, we have the egg yolks and the liver, and even green leafy vegetables. These are things or foods that have high content and good content of organic magnesium that can easily help you in rejuvenating yourself and recovery from hypertension. What this magnesium does is, when it gets into the cell, it pumps calcium outside the cell. And once that happens, the smooth muscles relax and there's no contraction anymore and your blood vessels are becoming flexible and they open up, easing up on your hypertension. So uh, magnesium salts are very important. Magnesium in its organic form is very important in uh, reversing hypertension. Now, additionally, the elderly people who have been diagnosed with bone problems, weak bones, osteoarthritis and osteomalacia are actually put on calcium supplements. But again, remember, these same, same old people have uh, these diseases, these chronic conditions like hypertension. So some of them are on calcium channel blockers like nifedipine and they are still being put on calcium supplements. 
you already see a drug interaction there. There's a serious drug interaction there that will actually cause more problems. So if you are already diagnosed with hypertension and you're on calcium channel blockers, simply get your calcium from the foods instead of getting it from calcium carbonate supplements. And calcium carbonate, remember, is just chalk. Okay? So if you're a person who has been diagnosed with issues with arthritis, issues with bone uh, weaknesses, and you put on calcium uh, supplements, understand that the reason why you're getting that constipation is because calcium salts cause constipation, therefore those supplements cause constipation. Also understand that these supplements can end up increasing your levels of calcium in the system. But calcium is strictly regulated in the system because excess of it, which we call hyperclass calcemia, can be a problem to you. So as you continue taking those supplements, and you know these supplements are taken for a long period of time, so as you continue taking those supplements, keep in mind that you can end up exacerbating your hypertension because they will deposit on the blood vessel walls and they start causing calcification. And this is actually going to make sure that you stay in that hypertensive state for the longest period of time. So for you to reverse uh, hypertension, drop the sugars, drop the processed foods, drop the seed oils. And then now once you drop those inflammatory foods, now focus on this calcium that is coming in. If you're on calcium supplements, simply drop them and focus on organic uh, foods that have organic calcium. And that is my take on this. So two things, drop the sugar and monitor the calcium.